Right, okay, so uh, you know why Leanne is up in Mapungubwe. Well, what we're doing here in studio, we're taking a look at how various groups of people got together to make sure that this SARS thing got off the ground and uh, just how is it going to work and uh, what difference is it going to make to you and I. Well, let's uh, chat now to uh, two people, Nick Wilshire from uh, the South African uh, Heritage Agency, SARA, and uh, Miss Kelsey Weens from... Uh, uh, Creative Commons South Africa from Wikipedia. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome to the program, both of you. Okay, let's start with you, Nick. Uh, what, what, is, what is SARS? In a nutshell, SARS is the National Heritage Management System and it's online and it's uh, completely on an open source platform. All right, so what does it do? It stores every single site and every single object uh, of heritage value in South Africa. Well, that's the idea one day, once we've got everything in there. <laughs> All right, so yeah. we're going to unpack back a little bit more, but Creative Commons partners in this <laughs> whole thing? Creative Commons is the legal tool that <laughs> right. works alongside copyright yeah. uh, in order to allow these sort of projects to work. All right, <laughs> explain that for me a little bit more. <laughs> uh, it allows you the right uh, to release some of your documents, like in Nick's case, the heritage documents. Yeah. Uh, we, you were putting them up on there and letting the public have access to it while still attributing back to the original user. All right, so uh, of course these are all sort of copyrighted <laughs> and, and you're pre uh, protecting that. Yes, Because yes. a lot of people will be going in and out, won't mm -hmm. they? All right, okay, so setting this up must have been quite a challenge. Tell us about that process and, and what you had to bring together to get this platform off the ground. Well, it was 12 years in the making and many wow. failed attempts really to get SARS off the ground. And it's really only because of the open source revolution that's taken place uh, in the last 10 years. And so with Drupal, I was able to put the system together in about three and a half months. Wow. And uh, with the quotes we had was 50 million rand, you know, 18 million, wow. 25 million for, for the system. And so we couldn't afford it for all those years. And uh, with Drupal, we were able to do it at no charge at all. It was just my time to sit and do it. And uh, that was the, the key thing. So, um, yeah, it's a very fast turnaround yeah. and, uh, you know, you can get on with the job without having to uh, hire huge teams to, to develop the software. And so how does this work across the country? Well, we're in the middle of our implementation, yeah. so we've trained nine provinces and uh, the first province in KZN, Amarfa, is already live with SARS and on the 1st of April they'll be accepting only SARS applications on the system in addition to our organization, SARS, so right. all our applications are already online. And we're busy rolling out to all the other provinces and training all their heritage officials. And then down the line, every single municipality in the country right. will also have a heritage body which will delegate down to the grade three, as they say, um, heritage uh, sites. So they'll manage the bulk of the material. So this is one system for everybody. Okay, so <laughs> I can see it <laughs> cascading down. But, and, and, and all of these museums and mm. everybody's going to need to, to link. So yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you facilitate this process. Well, Creative Commons uh, allows for that facilitation. Yeah. So uh, it can let a student who's in Limpopo learn yeah. about uh, their heritage, about South Africans' great, rich and dynamic heritage uh, while still sitting in Limpopo. Right, so, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... People at home are watching this and they're thinking, how do I get involved in this? What will I be able to do and what difference will it make? They need to go to the website, www.sara.org.za yeah. yeah. right. and they register an account. Everything is free, so access, upload and download material fr from the site is free. And there'll be various types of users, so developers yeah. looking to develop for wind farms and mining and so on will be using the system to investigate uh, the, per the areas that yeah. they want to buy in. Other people will be looking at heritage sites and researching. Other people will be uh, communities and conservation groups need to register on the site and participate in the yeah. commenting system. Um, so there's something in it for everybody. And anybody can log in and submit what they think is heritage worthy and then yeah. it goes through a process of assessment. Wow. And very briefly, has there been anything like this uh, around the world and uh, in South Africa, have we led the way in any way? Uh, well, not uh, specifically in heritage, yeah. Yeah. but uh, certainly in educational documents. Yeah. Uh, the new textbooks that are in uh, schools right now are Creative Commons, which is a first globally. Uh, it's a Saravula project and yeah. they've uh, collaboratively written textbooks uh, that is being distributed in schools so that's a first. All right so well this is all very exciting I can't wait to log on now <laughs> but we'll, we'll chat a little bit more in the next hour about this particular project.